Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be working on this spot. Last year I had onions and leeks growing here and it did all right. Um, but this year I am going to pull up this black tarp and I am going to make a strawberry tower. Um, probably the world's easiest strawberry tower and we're gonna see if if it works this year. So let's uh, see what happens here. All right guys, it took me about an hour and a half, two hours to complete this garden bed. Um, I, I'm expecting wonderful product produce out of this garden bed. We're gonna put some more holes in the side. I left a bunch of this black uh, landscape tarp over the top. Um, I watched Terry King and his kind of in one of his, I think it was one of his compost bins, kind of slid down the sides and he had to redo that. And so in case that happens, I didn't I didn't want to have to redo this in a couple of years. I want this to, to be here for a while. And so I went ahead and just left all the extra over the top. I'll end up rolling this over and planting strawberry beds in the top. It's not quite all the way full and that's okay because that'll give me room to um, add compost over the years um, and it'll eventually end up filling up so I'm not concerned about that I will go back through and just take a uh, my little handheld blowtorch and pop little holes in the side of this and then stick my strawberry uh, roots down in each of these little holes I'm not sure how this will do on this side um, it will get a little bit of the afternoon sun uh, but this is this is a pretty good spot, I think, for strawberries. Uh, it'll warm up nicely. It'll produce nicely, and uh, so all I have to do at, to add to this is uh, irrigation. I have my main supply over here, and I will just run irrigation over the top, up the side, and over the top. And uh, that is how we will irrigate this particular bed. I need to set up one for the asparagus bed as well. Uh, several of the heads kind of have popped off over there, so I want to do something a little different in that area. And yeah, all of this was stuff that I had, cattle panel. This is a cattle panel that I cut in half, so it's approximately 25 inches. Um, but I did stick the spikes all the way in the ground, so I'm, I'm going to say probably close to 20 inches deep here. Uh, the compost that I had laid down a couple of years ago was beautifully broken down. Obviously there was some wood chips still in there. I'm fine with that. That doesn't bother me. Lots of good of worms. I, I did add lots of good worms from this into there, so I'm really excited about that. Um, as some of you know that I've had some issues with root knot nematodes and um, in a lot of my research and studying having a good balanced organic matter in the soil that attracts the worms will help against those root knot nematodes so keep that in mind so we will wait until this bed will rest until probably April March, the end of March, first part of April, we will be potting it up with strawberries. Um, I might put some rhubarb in the top. I've not had real good luck with rhubarb in Oklahoma, but you know, you never know. We're going to give it a go and see what happens. And uh, yeah, I might even throw a, a, an asparagus or two in there. Uh, so we like asparagus, never seem to have enough of it. Who knows? The, the possibilities are endless, but strawberries for sure. Thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. And as always, have a great week, and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.